So Google just released the Android 11 Beta 2 for the Pixel devices and I have it on my Pixel 2 XL here with me right now and there are a couple of new features that I have found in the Beta itself uh, which I would like to show you guys. So today we will be taking a look at just that. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first things first is you will notice a difference in Pixel Launcher. So uh, if you know the Pixel Launcher had a bit of a transparency uh, in the app menu itself but it's now completely gone you no longer have the transparency if you just swipe up completely uh, even if you turn on the dark mode i'll just quickly show you guys so if you go into display and if you turn on the dark mode or dark theme you again as you can see you have no transparency you have the complete dark or black thing and if you just turn on the light mode you'll have a complete white thing going on so you no more get the transparency uh, in the pixel launcher itself so the second thing is based on notifications so now as you can see you have a uh, little small notifications so earlier it they were a little bigger than the smaller ones that you have right now so yeah that is another thing so the next thing lies in the messaging app itself so as you can see down here you have a new bubble icon so it has now changed and it actually gives a pretty good visual representation of what a bubble will look like so if you just hit on this you'll get the bubble right over here so there we go got it and there you have the bubble itself and if you want to get rid of it you'll just hold it and swipe to the cross and the bubble will be gone there we go the next thing here is if I'm not wrong the power menu has changed a little bit so I think the power options are now a little bit smaller than they were before I'm just guessing this I'm not particularly sure about if this is a change or not but if you do see this particular change do let me know that in the comment section down below so the next UI change lies in the screenshot menu so if you take a screenshot real quick if you go into edit and if you just do some editing and when you hit on done you'll see another option called as save so it says find it in files or photos or it says delete so you can directly delete it from here itself and the screenshot will no longer be saved the next thing here is if you go into the recent menu you can now see we have a pretty cleaned up version of screenshot and a select option so before it there were three options a uh, screenshot we had select and then we had share which basically did not save the screenshot just shared it with other people but now we have just the two options of screenshot and select so you can do that itself so yeah there we go then if you guys could remember we had an option in developer settings called media redemption so that is now actually gone from the developer setting itself so if you just scroll down to developer settings if you go into media you will no longer see that option under the media section itself but the option is still present and it is for everyone it is now gone out of the developer mode so I'll just quickly play a song here I'll just pause it and now you can see we have the media controls right on the uh, quick toggle menu itself so as you can see it is uh, much bigger and it provides much more functionality it also has a ripple effect if you just play and pause it uh, I don't know if you could see this but it actually does have a ripple effect when you play or pause the song so yeah the it is finally now gone out of the uh, developer mode or developer options and you finally have it uh, for the public then the next change here was a pretty needed change so if you remember we had a screen recording option so first of all the icon for screen recorder is now changed as you can see and then if you'll just tap on it you'll get an option to record audio so you'll have three options either from microphone we have device audio and we have device audio and microphone so you can select either of it if you want so this now finally rec lets you record internal audio as well so yeah you have two changes you have one of it is in the icon and another one is basically the internal audio recording another thing i have noticed is uh, the pixel launcher i think the font is now reduced a bit 
I don't know if I'm seeing things or not, but I think the font or the basically the font size for the icons uh, is uh, is reduced a little bit. I don't know if I'm seeing this correctly or I just don't know if you guys also notice this. Uh, just do let me know down in the comment section. Uh, but I think the font size is a little bit smaller for the icons now in the second developer beta. So as I did a clean flash of this particular beta, I went through the setup process and I have noticed a couple of changes in that as well. So first of all, the uh, section where you choose all the options is now changed. Uh, you can see the text or the font size is a little bit smaller and it looks actually pretty neat. Another thing is the loading option. So before we used to get a circular thing that would just roll around uh, saying uh, it's loading, but now you get these bricks and they just bounce on each other for the loading option. So that is uh, a thing that you will notice while setting up the phone if you do a reset on Android 11 beta 2. So I think those were a couple of features that were noticeable and that I have found in the Android 11 beta 2. Uh, there could be few more changes. I'll just put a link uh, in the description box below for all the new changes in Android 11 second beta. So yeah, that is pretty much it for now. These were all the noticeable changes that I could find. But yeah, for now that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.